Welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. Here we grow again. Let's do this. Okay, so first and foremost, unfortunately, I have to say this at the beginning of every show, but don't get scammed. There are people out there that want to be me or pretend to be me. Why? Why? Um, I will never reach out to you on any social media platform asking you to get a reading, have a this, have a that. Nope, not me. Doesn't happen. Don't do it. Um, the only way that you can get in contact with me for a private session is through my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. Yep. All right. Uh, we're going to start today by thanking everybody who's already in the chat, chatting with me and... Heather, aloha, Jay. I keep moving the camera, you guys. <laughs> Rebecca, hey, Sally, welcome to the show. Nice to have you here. Mimi, Mimi, who does all the timestamps. Thank you, Mimi, for all the hard work that you put into the show. Um, Genevieve is here, of course, of course, of course. Um, aloha, Jay is with us today. So awesome. Okay, you guys, Katie's here. Okay, if I missed your name, just uh, pop something in the chat so I can get your name and give you a shout out on um, saying hi to you. We're going to get right into it today. If you have any questions, you want to connect with loved ones on the other side, please call in 845-277-9131. Um, or you can put a question in the chat. Um, there might be a little background noise today, and that is a okay. I'm going to finally be able to wash my dishes. I don't know that that's a great thing. Yeah, but it's been a couple days, so here we go, right? All righty, let's see. Um, Anne wants to know, my mom is Catherine. She, oh, Anne, I'm so sorry. Her mom is Catherine. She died in jail. Do you know how she died? What she died from, I think, is what's being said here. Does she have any messages for me? Okay, Catherine. Um, the message I'm getting, okay, so um, Anne, I'm sorry. Your mom, Catherine, the first thing that I'm hearing is um, like it, um, I'm hearing two things, influenza, congestive heart, influenza, congestive heart, influenza, congestive heart. So I think there were some heart issues already in play, or if not, they became, um, they came, they came to her while she was in, in jail. And then she, uh, I hear influenza. So whatever happened with your mom, and I do think there were some other things that may never come out that were going on but in any case i'm really sorry that that happened to her and to you and the biggest message that she has for you right now is to um um it's really weird i'm hearing that song that that one song you gotta keep them separated she's saying it's okay for you to and then i hear the song you can go yeah own way, go your own way. Yeah, folks, I know I can't sing. So one thing I can't do. Um, so I think what she's, the message that she's giving you, Anne, is it's okay to not be around people who you don't, um, that aren't the best for you, if that makes sense, love. Um, if somebody's not good to you, they, they got to go. They, they just, they have to go. Don't keep them in your life. Okay, love? That's just not the way to do this. Okay, I'm going to go to the first caller, and then I'm going to take the next question in the chat. 814, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, uh, this is Amy, and I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Hey, Amy, how can I help you today? And my, my question is, do you see my son, Tristan, getting a job that he applied for. Okay. It's just a part-time cashier job. Okay. Um, I do feel like he's going to get, he is going to get a position. I don't know if it's going to be that exact one. I feel like there's, um, he should be put, I feel like, 
and I, I, I get it, but I feel like he, if he hasn't already put out more applications that more should be put out and, um, uh, can I please ask your son's age? He's 17. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I feel like wherever he's going to get hired, he should be, um, it's what they're showing me is so crazy. Um, I don't even know if this is possible. I'm just going to tell you what I'm getting for the sake of it. Uh, I keep seeing like a sporting goods store, which I know the sporting goods store I'm seeing that exists here, but it, I don't know if it exists there. But at some point, I think this might be where he or how he ends up uh, as a part time position. So I would have him also if he hasn't looked into that, I would have him also look into that and let me know how that turns out for him. Let me know if that like is something that works out. Maybe they just need somebody. Maybe it's it's a better fit for him. I don't know. But I feel like that's going to be really a positive thing um, for him moving forward. If he, if he can get into um, that place. Now, I'm going to tell you, oddly enough, I, I don't okay. know why this is all coming to me, but there's a sporting goods store in our area. And I didn't know this. The only reason I found out about this was because um, somebody that I know knew somebody who worked there. And they helped with some of their college funding, too. So if you were there as an employee. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you were there as an employee, they actually helped with some of your college funding um, for certain employees that were high school to college. And that's this is what I'm seeing. I don't I don't know again that it's the exact same sporting goods store, but what I can tell you is there is a much there might be a much better fit if he uh, gets into something like that just for for all the reasons that that would be there. Okay, love. Okay, excellent. I hope that was helpful for Thank you. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Yes, it is. Thank you so so much. Absolutely. My pleasure. Um, good luck to him in his endeavors. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you for calling into the show. I'm going to go to the next question online. Um, Rebecca is saying Sunday morning around 4 a.m. I heard my kitchen cabinet close. <laughs> Who was who was visiting me early in the morning? Oh, Rebecca, who doesn't visit us early in the morning, right? Oh, my goodness. This past week has been crazy with um, all kinds of things. The first thing I hear is mom. So if it wasn't directly your mom, it's your mom's mom, somebody on your mom's side of the family, um, and somebody who was always, 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 always in the kitchen always in the kitchen. Like I, I would say this might even be a grandmom because grandmoms, you know, traditionally you took care of the home, but they were always in the kitchen, just always in the kitchen. So somebody on your mom's side of the family, either mom or grandmom that, that was there. Um, and the message for you, Rebecca is, <laughs> Oh, um, you need to bake, bake, a little more and um, keep things a little bit more organized. I don't even know if that makes sense, love. <laughs> I hope it does. I really, I really hope it does. Um, yeah, and Genevieve is co commenting 333. Um, I was waking up. You know, there is something to that time frame between uh, 3 and 5 a.m. where those of us who are very sensitive to that energy, it comes in and it's just so, um, so around us and yeah, waking us up. I'm going to go to 520. 520, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Lisa from Arizona. How are you? I'm good, Lisa. How can I help you today? Is my friendship with my friend moving closer to 
being a committed romantic relationship. Mm. Oh, Lisa. Um, uh, I'm trying to, I, I'm just going to say it. Uh, n n n no, no. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just going to say this for you and I understand how frustrating it can be, but what, what they really want to say to you is sometimes rejection is protection. Sometimes something doesn't move further forward because we are supposed to be a working. I hear you're supposed to be working and more focused on yourself right now than somebody else. There's something within you or something about your life that you need to clean up. Man, this is not the message I want to give right now. Oh, bay. Um, but I'm just going to say it. I'm just, I'm just going to tell you what they're saying and you can do with it what you want, Lisa. And I apologize if this message doesn't make sense to you, but if it does, then it's helpful. And if it doesn't make sense, sit back, take some slow, deep breaths and figure out what they're talking about. Uh, there's something in your life right now that you need to get a better perspective on, or you need to uh, fix or clean up or look into um, all this energy that you're trying to put someplace else, you're supposed to be trying to put into and on yourself. Okay. Um, into and on yourself. And, um, and um, I'm so sorry, sweetie. Um, you're supposed to be putting that energy into and on yourself. And you will then... Uh, be able to move forward with the right person in the right way. I'm so sorry I got distracted. Um, somebody was just leaving. No, because, um, so what I'm going to fine. tell you right now is the moment that you stop focusing all your energy in and on this person is the moment that you get the clarity that you need. Okay, there it is. The, oh! Oh, I love spirit. Okay, whatever it is. Okay, and I'm going to say it like this. And I know this is such a long roundabout message. You wanting them to want you. I'm going to just say this for you and anybody else listening. A lot of times when we're really trying to get somebody to want us, to like us, to love us, or however you want to say that. And maybe I'm making it sound a little bit more. Do you want you? Would you pick you? So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to do a clearing. Um, we have healthy self-love. I get a no. I'm going to do another clearing. Uh, we want ourselves and we like ourselves and we love ourselves. All three of those. I can barely talk, folks. Oh, my goodness. Oh. 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 <coughs> oh my 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 okay there's a lot coming out with that if anybody else is feeling that and is having an experience from that please please let me know in the chat we're at about the 13 minute mark 12 and a half minute mark with that clearing i'm going to tell you the moment you stop focusing on this person um is the moment and you turn it to you you start focusing all that on you is the moment everything's going to pop open and then you're going to look at this person and not even understand what you were thinking. The second thing I want to say is, sweetie, sweet, beautiful, beautiful, amazing girl. Um, sometimes people, when we like them, they will let us like them because they like the attention, even if they know it might not be going where you want it to go, they're not ready to give up that admiration and attention that you are giving them. So uh, pull back, uh, pull out like a pull, pull, <laughs> just pull back. I'm not even going to finish that one. Um, pull all of your attention back, pull all of your energy back into you. Focus only on you and your relationship with yourself because this person is, and if I have to be a little bit blunt about it, 
if this was the person you're supposed to be with, it would be happening in a diff differently. It would be happening and you would be there and it would be where uh, progressing in a healthy manner. Um, and this is my favorite one. And I've had to I've had to remind myself of this one a million gazillion times. If you have to ask a question about a relationship or work or any anything else, um, we already know the answer. We just don't want to, we just don't want to, we want to believe our heart over our head or our intuition. So we already know something's not right. We already know something's off and we do want clarity. But in your case, who cares why this person isn't where you are? Let that go. Stop. Stop. There can be a million people that are out there that want us, but we are so caught up in the one that's not giving us exactly what we want. And we must win that prize. And it's like being at the carnival, playing that game where we're throwing the ball over and over or whatever it is to win. Like we spend like however much money to win, like a, like a, a something they paid a quarter for, like stop, stop trying to win this prize. The game is rigged. They know the trick to the game. We might not know the trick to the game. But at some point we have to say, do, is, is this is this prize really worth everything I'm putting in? Is it even a prize? And is it, and most importantly, is it my prize? Is this my prize? Is this the prize I'm supposed to walk out with? Oh, we, that was awesome. That was really good. I love that message for you, sweetie. I love it. How, how, does that make sense to you, sweetie? Well, I'm not going to dismiss that. I mean, I, this towards, I can think about the he uses words with me like forever, like we're going to live together forever. And he uses words like, um, like we're going to go on a trip right now and spend some time together by ourselves. You know, he does those things. But, um, and I'm pretty active in my spiritual stuff and my own activities. But I'll certainly listen to your words, you know, and ponder them for sure. Okay, I want to ask you a question, and I, I, this is not only for you. Some of the messages that came through, they're, they're absolutely for you, but they're also for other people that might be listening that might be in a similar situation. But what I'm going to say to you, I'm going to ask you a question, and I really want you, you don't have to answer this question on air, but I do want you to really think about this. If you had a daughter and she was in your exact situation, or a sister, or somebody you really, really loved, your mom, whomever it is, and she was in your exact situation, and you had all the information you have, what would you guide her to do? Now, don't, don't listen with that same heart that you have for yourself, because when it comes to somebody else, we can remove the emotion and work a little bit more from logic and we can see it completely differently. So if you had somebody that you just adored and felt protective over and they were in your exact situation and, and this was their circumstance, the information you would give them might look a little bit differently than the answers that you are wanting to keep for yourself. And there is nothing wrong with that. Listen, we have all been in situations or situationships or whatever we want to call them where maybe we stay past the expiration date. Maybe we go a little bit longer into this relationship with hope, hope that it's going to have this outcome. Okay. We ignore all evidence to what is because we want what might be and what what your angels are or you know is what they're saying to you is look at it 
as though it's not your personal relationship and then make decisions based on that. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I, I've had to do this in my life where I've been in a situation with somebody that I just adored beyond all. And if it would be anybody else, I would be telling them to do A, B, and C, but I went X, Y, Z all the way. Okay. I was like, nope, I'm going to double down on this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am a dog with a bone and I am going to dig the biggest hole that I can't even get out of. And we do it. We do it out of hope. And if we're empathic and we're on a spiritual journey, we believe the other person is there with us. And they're so we see only the good and what the possible outcome that we want. And the truth of the matter is. And I, I, I'm. Just because somebody says they want to do A, B, or C, somebody says this, that, or the other thing, if you're not seeing, and I don't care, I'm just going to say this, if you are not seeing the results that you should be seeing by this point in your situation, in your relationship, or the results that you feel like you want in this relationship by this point in time, then re-examine it because sweet girl, for you and anybody else in the world, do not invest time because time is the most amazing, beautiful thing that we have, but it's the only thing we can never get back. It's the only thing we can never get the last year back. We can never get the last five minutes back. So do not invest time in junk stock. And not that this person is junk. I am not saying that at all. But no, no, that don't, the way they want to say this, I'm going to pull it back a little bit. I'm going to just rain it on back a little bit. And I'm going to say it like this. Even if everything else I said so far, you're, you are set on an outcome. Okay, you are set on this one outcome, okay? And the longer we go down a road, the more set we have to be on that outcome because we don't want to be wrong. And there's this statement. It's easier to fool somebody than to convince them they've been fooled. It's easier to believe that something might come than to believe that it was never going to or that now it's not going to come. And I want you to do the and and I not me when I say I it's not me. What I'm going to tell you right now is if this person was where you are and wanted what you want, you wouldn't be on the phone with me right now. And you would be in a very happy place. And I'm going to tell you this. I don't care why this person might not be ready for the commitment you want. Let me rephrase that. I don't know. I don't care why this person might not be ready for the commitment with you that you want. I don't care what else is going on in their life. This call is not about them. It's about you. But whatever that reason is, it exists. So you have to start to do what's best for you at this point. And sometimes we think I'm already this far in, so I'm going to keep going. Otherwise, I have to start over or I might just be single. That's okay. I would rather be single and not confused. I would rather be single and happy. I would rather be single than chase a false dream. Then... <laughs> Then I'm, I'm giggling because of a situation I'm very well aware of. Um, then, then to, you know, do whatever. And sometimes we have to pull all of our energy back from someone so they can realize what they would be missing if we weren't there. And then they can make the situation, the decision to come to this situation correct and stand up and be the person they need to be in this situation and stop lollygagging themselves around. Or we can move on. OK, so even maybe pulling your energy back and being all about you is more about them figuring out what they want. Now, I am going to tell you, if we're giving all of our energy to somebody, male, female, I, I don't care if we're giving all of our energy to somebody 
and they know they got it on lockdown with their down, they don't have to do anything. They can just keep it like it is because that's what's comfortable for them. And what I'm going to tell you right now is if you really want to see if this guy is going to come forward and give you what you want, pull all of your energy back. It's not a game. Either this is going to keep going like it is or you're going to move on. But if you pull all of your energy back, this person is going to have to look at what they want with you, how they want it, and come forward correct. And don't let them come back to this same pattern, okay? So that is what I'm going to tell you, love. I'm going to let that sit there. I know that this is not what you want to hear. And I know people will tell me, well, this other reader or so on or so forth told me this. I'm going to tell you this. Maybe they did tell you that. And maybe that is one of the million possibilities in the world. I'm telling you right now, somebody up there is telling you in the nicest possible way. I'm not even using the strong verbiage they're using. It's time for you to get back into you and do what's best for you. And I am also the, 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 ah, oh, they will not let this go. <laughs> I keep trying to say, this is going to be the last thing. This is going to be, the, and they just are like, nope, we're riding this pony all the way to the finish line. Even if it doesn't win the race, we're going to ride this pony all the way to the finish line. Um, if you pull your energy back into you, if you just focus on you and you let go of this situation, this person will have to make a decision and you also will be able to be clearer in your mind about where you want to be and what you want. You clearly for some time are not getting the results that you want doing it the way you're doing it. That is not what I thought I was going to say. Uh, doing it the way you're doing it. So try it a different way. If for no other reason than to do an experiment to see if you can just get a different result. Okay. Okay. I'm just, I'm cutting, I'm cutting it off. I'm like saying, nope, no more. I get, my ears have stopped hearing your words. It, it doesn't come in my ears. It's in my head, but I'm just going to say, I hope that was helpful for you. Love. I hope that is what you needed. And it, I know it's not what you, I always say this. I'm not the fluff and stuff reader as far as I'm going to tell you what you want to hear. And there are a lot of them out there and they admit it to each other. I just tell people what they want to hear. So they come back. No, I don't do that because it's not me and it's unethical. And I don't tell people what they want to hear, but I will tell you what you need to know and what you need to know. Oh, Jesus, Moses and Mary. What you need to know right now is you need to pull your energy back and you need to move on a little bit and let this person catch up correctly if they're going to catch up. If they can't catch up, you just leave them behind. You just need to leave them behind. Okay, you guys, I love each and what every one of you so stinking much. Please remember, it is your job to create the miracles in your life. So create the miracles you want for you.